everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 with my tutorial series. And today, I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial on how to ILS land the Grand Caravan 208B. Now, this would be a very quick guide, and as always, I'm not a professional pilot. I play these games for fun. Uh, I do know and understand most procedures, but look, I might miss the odd thing here or there. But the main thing is, I'm going to show you very quickly, very simply, how to ILS land. Now, we're going to come into the cockpit. I'm not going to do the start procedure in exactly the correct manner because we want to hurry up and get ourselves up in the air for the important part. But we'll throw on the battery here. We'll throw on our... System test. Okay. Yeah, okay. We'll throw on the ignitions, our fuel boost, etc. And we may as well just start that motor. We'll put our landing lights on. Obviously, it should be taxi lights, strobes, navigation, beacon. Um, yeah. Like I said, this isn't the proper way to start this aircraft up. What I want to do is just show you the approach. So we're going to come into here. So I've got a GPS direct from EICM, which is Galway, which is where we're at this morning. And we're going to be taking the ILS 26 at EIKN, which is Knock Airport. So that's what we're planning to do today. So what I want to do, because I've only got a direct GPS, I'm going to hit program here and I'm going to go select approach. At the moment it has a, a, a VOR DME as 08, uh, but we're actually going to come in on a different runway. We're coming in for the ILS is what we want. So we just click this one on the top. We're going to go down to, we see ILS 26.8 and I'm going to click enter. And it's going to us our transition of CON. That is fine. Minimums, I'm not going to set for this. Uh, that is fine. I'm also just going to select our altitude for today of about 4,000. We're not going to be going very high because we're not going very, very far. But 4,000 will be fine for me. As you can see, it is just changing here. Okay, so that is perfect. Lovely, lovely. Okay, one thing that I want to go look at is my Navigraph chart. So here we go. This is the Navigraph chart for ILS 26. There you go, it gives us the one for A now, that's the one we want. Okay, so, ILS A, so I'm not going to go into depth of what all of this means. I'm just going to show you what you kind of need for the ILS for the basics. I am going to do a separate tutorial on how to read these charts. Okay, so what we need, we can see this is the airport. This bit here is very important. So we need 110.7, that is our ILS code, and that is our course of 264 degrees. So that's very important. So when we come in, this is exactly the route we're going to be taking. This is the con. So we come to this VOR tower, then we're going to be taking this loop and then we're going to be back in to the ILS. Now at Copax, we need to be at 3,000 feet. That's what we need to be here. So it's very important, 3,000 feet. We need to be at 4,000 by the time we're at Con, and then make our way down to 3,000 feet. So 4,000 from here, we have to drop 1,000 as we come in for the loop and join this glide slope. This bit here is the glide slope. So if you're coming in from different approaches like Lasmo, etc. Um, but this is the one we're taking, Con. So this is perfect. Very, very, very simple. Copax, we, we should be at 3000. That's all we need to kind of remember. So like I said, I'm not going to go into huge detail into this at the moment. I will do a separate tutorial on how to read these charts properly. But I'm just showing you the bits that you really need for the ILS. Okay, so for me, that is pretty much the aircraft set up for takeoff. Uh, so what I'm going to do then, let's take off. And I'm going to see you once we start reaching towards Knock Airport.
Okay guys, so we're just passing over Nock Airport and we're now just hitting Con. So this is Con for us, so we need to be down, like I said, by here we need to start thinking about dropping our descent. Um, so if we look at our Navigraphs, it says from Con here, it wants us to come down from 4,000 to 3,000. So that's the first thing we're going to do, is just get that ready. I like to try and keep busy during this stage of the flight. So we're going to get down nice and early. It's always better to be down a little bit early than uh, than not to be down at all. So we're going to take some power off it. And it will give us our flight level change to 3000. Okay, let's go back to our charts. The next thing I'm going to look at here is our course, which is 264. If I come up here to our course button, It's not changing, which is great. So we're just going to ignore the course for a second. Okay, the frequency is working. I don't know why the course won't change. I do, I do think currently it does auto change. Once I put in the VOR, I think it does auto change the course anyways. But anyways, so we're now down to 3000. This is where we need to be. Very, very nice. We're very, very early here. Okay, so let's go back to our Navigraph chart. The next thing that we need to put into our VOR is 110.7. Okay. So these are our active. These are our standbys. So I've already forgotten the, what the code was. Uh, 1110.7. So we move this one up to 70. There we go, and this was 1110. So there we go, that is our ILS frequency, and I'm going to put that in. Okay, so that is in now, ready to go. As you can see now, the plane is now starting to make its turn to uh, start lining itself up with the airport. Which is beautiful. Okay, so let's go back to our charts now. Just have one quite last quick look. So we have the 110.7, which is important. Uh, we're now starting to make our turn here. This is our turn. Okay, so that's lovely. We're going to be lining up nicely here, guys. So we've already set this now to 110.70. That is in. There is a few other little buttons that we're going to need to press in a second. Uh, what I'm basically waiting for us is to nearly hit Copax which we should be doing very, very soon. And the other two buttons that we need for this are, we need to change from nav to approach, and we'll have to change our CDI to VOR1, because that's where our frequency is for the ILS. So we're already down to 3,000 feet. So all that is fine. Our speeds are all fine. And then what's gonna happen here is then the, the plane will take the glide path and then it'll start taking us down itself. It's gonna take some of the RPMs up as we wanna start slowing down now as we start approaching the airport. As you can see here from this map, we're not far away now. Once we get a little bit closer, we're going to set our ILS. We should hit that glide slope because we're now under 3,000. Well, just under 3,000. Hitting 3,000. So what we're going to do... Okay, I'm going to turn approach on and you can see localizer one now the aircraft's going to start changing and moving that is fine we can see the green dot here that is for the glide path so this will start bringing us in I'm just going to start reducing our speeds every obviously once we hit under 100 we need flaps from one so now that is the ILS now that should capture the glide slope we're going to find out now that it's coming into it 
This should all change. It should all line itself up nicely. And it's already given us that correct course of 263. So it automatically does the course. Uh, which is quite handy, actually. Okay, so look. The plane is now lining itself up. We're going to take a little bit more speed out. The caravan, you want to be landing around 80 knots. Thereabouts. A little bit more, a little bit less. Won't hurt. Okay, so the plane is now descending. It has captured that glide path. There is our runway. This will take us all the way in. Now, there's different ways to do this. Most of the time, I will only ILS if it's very bad weather. If you cannot see the runway, I will ILS. Otherwise, I do tend... I do tend to do it all my kind of self. I like to manually fly these kind of small aircraft. So that's kind of the only time. Now, it, once I'm about a thousand feet, I would generally take over as well. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this ILS all the way in until we're just above the runway. Uh, and then we will take over. So I'm going to take a little bit more of the speed out now. Okay, we can flaps one. Don't worry, that's going to lift us, but the aircraft will put itself back on the right path. There we go, we're hitting 90 now. We're quite far out. Like I said, it's always good to keep busy, keep checking, keep checking your speeds. This is the busiest time now coming into land. Uh, make sure it's lining up. Now, some of these aren't lining up 100%. We'll see how this one goes. Uh, it looks all good at the moment. We can flaps two now. Bring a little more of that speed back. I'm going to hit around the 80 knots ish. That looks perfect, guys. So you can see it is bringing us in nicely. The aircraft is doing everything itself. I'm not doing anything here. Like I said, usually from about 1,000 feet, I'd like to take over because I like to manually land. Um, but if it was terrible weather and you cannot see the runway, you will have to ILS. So you can see it's still bringing us down here. Brought us up on our course. Everything is looking good. Speed is looking really good. Just hovering at that 80 mark, and that is fine. We can stay in the air with that. We do have quite a long way to go. That's quite a long, long ILS, this one. And then you see here, it brings us down at 3 degrees. So that's what it's doing. That is absolutely perfect. Looking good. Lining yourself up nicely. Couple of final checks, flaps are down, obviously there's no gears in this. All the speeds are looking good. Uh, we have uh, landing lights are on. Of course, like I said, I haven't gone through them procedures correctly here. The main procedure is just how to ILS. So, again, just a quick recap as we come in. Navigation has to be tuned in. Approach hold as you come uh, into the glide slope. Check your charts. Okay, guys, we're coming in for landing. Like I said, I'd normally take over here. We're nice and straight. Usually it'd be just very small corrections. But I'm going to let this bring us all the way in. And then at the very last second, I will take over. Disconnect the AP and just touch the wheels down. But it is looking really, really good. Lining up nicely. Wish there was a replay on this so I could show you a lot better. <laughs> Okay, we're 500 now. That's a bit weird, the lights. Kind of going through the roads. You see the Pappy lights now, two red, two white. Looking perfect, guys, absolutely perfect. I get a sneaky uh, screenshot here for... There we go, look at this. We are coming in absolutely beautifully. Very quickly, we're just going to take over now, disconnect the autopilot. And we're just going to let her float down. 
bit of a flow because I was messing around there for you guys. There you go. Reverse thrust. And brakes. Onto under 40 knots. And then of course we would go off and do our taxis etc. Uh, it's a little bit messy at the end only because I was trying to get some nice screenshots for you. But there we have it, there is an ILS landing, we have arrived in Nock Airport, we will now would go and taxi back uh, to the to the main hangars and stuff, but that's obviously where I'm going to leave this. There we go, that is a very quick how to ILS in probably under 10 minutes. Um, if you are enjoying this content, please subscribe to the channel, uh, hit that bell icon for notifications, I upload every single day, make sure you hit that like button. If there are any other tutorials that you would like to see as well, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll do my best. Like I said, I do try and do these for kind of beginners, I don't go in too much depth, or just so you guys can learn the basic principles. Then you can go off and learn more, or if you do want me to do more in-depth tutorials, let me know in the comments down below as well. Coming up, there will be I will do a chart review on how to do all the charts, how to read the charts as well. That will come up now very, very soon. Check out some of my other tutorials for other different things, neat add-ons, um, other ILSs, takeoffs, cold starts, etc. How to do Navigraph. There's all that in the playlist. If you want to come check us out on Discord as well, uh, the link is in the description down below. Come say hello. If you have any issues with any kind of questions or if you know want me to do anything, it's a good place to kind of speak to me. I'm very active on there. So other than that, guys... Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.